Welcome to this 3DS Max Arnold Glass Material Tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make realistic glass in the Arnold Renderer. For those coming over from Mental Ray, this is going to differ slightly from the way you've been used to making glass. We're going to start off with a standard material applied to our objects here which will make them appear like so. The first thing we've got to do is go from a standard material to an Arnold standard surface material. The next step is to remove the base colour weight as glass doesn't actually have any colour applied to it. So it's going to right click base colour weight and that should make the material go black. Like so. Next we have to go down to specular reflections make sure our general is 1 and our index of reflection is 1.5 as that is the reflective properties of glass. For water, the IOR is 1.33. Oh, refraction, sorry, not reflection. Next, we're going to move down to transparency. And we're going to change that to 1 like so. So now we can start seeing that the material is becoming more of a glass. However, with this applied to our object, it won't actually make our objects appear like glass. If I do a quick render now, I will skip through ahead once the render is done, so you can see the results. And there we go. So we can see it looks a little bit like glass. However, we've got all this dark black kind of solid reflection on both the pot of water and the glass. And that's because in Arnold you need to tell each object that light can pass through it. By default the light is going to go around the object to save render time. So the way we tell Arnold that we want light to go through and refract is we select the object, we right click, oh sorry, we go to modifier list and Arnold properties. Under Arnold properties we want to scroll down to general, click general, and turn off opaque. That will allow the light to transfer through the object. I'm now going to do this for the other two objects. Properties, general, opaque and finally my properties general and opaque back there so now we've told that uh, the software that the light can go through the objects now we've got to tell it how deep in the object it's going to have to go through. The way we do that is we go into settings and under the Arnold render tab we want to change transmission where it says ray depth from 2 to 8. Now if we take a render of that we should see the light is passing through the objects and making them appear like glass. So I will show you the finished results. 
and there we are. As we can see now, the light is passing through and you can see all of the objects behind the two glass objects. If you want to make realistic water, all you have to do is instead of having 1.5 in IOR, it's 1.33. Please take into account that because you're using reflection and refraction, your render times will be increased dramatically. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If there are any other tutorials you're interested in me doing, please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.